Hello everyone and welcome back to Sandy Says. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to implement the Clean Mama cleaning system in your home. If you found this video on search, there's a good chance that you have a bunch of tiny humans running around your house and you're struggling to keep up. This video will give you all the tasks and routines that you need to get you started. If you are new, hit the subscribe button down below and also be sure to check out the other Clean Mama videos that I have linked down in the description box. The Clean Mama routine is made up of four parts. Those four components are the daily task, the weekly task, the rotating task, and then the monthly focus. Becky from Clean Mama suggests that you start off with the first component, which is the five daily tasks. Those tasks are number one, making your bed, simple enough. Number two, check your floors. This is simply looking at your floors and spot cleaning as needed. I turn on my iLife robot vacuum every day, but that is not required of the Clean Mama. Number three, Wipe the counters. This includes your kitchen and bathroom counters. Number four, clear the clutter. Just spend a few minutes picking up cluttered areas in your home. Stray leg girls that have wandered into the living room or piles of mail, whatever clutter you have, now is the time to clear it. And finally, number five, do one load of laundry. This includes washing, folding, and putting it away. You can do these five tasks in whatever order you would like and break them up however works best for you. For example, I set a 15 minute timer after I eat lunch because I'm a stay at home mom and I pull the clothes out of the dryer, I fold those and I put them away and then I make the beds. I also put a new load in the washing machine and then I spend whatever time is left in those 15 minutes and I check the floors, turn on the robot vacuum and then spend whatever time is left clearing clutter. Then after dinner, I always wipe the counter and then I'll take the wet clothes out of the washing machine. I'll put those in the dryer, let the dryer run, and then those are the clothes that I fold on the next day. And then I spend whatever time is left in that 15 minutes clearing more clutter and picking up the floors. After you've done this for like three or four days, you'll realize that it does not take the whole 15 minutes to do all of these tasks. Once you've mastered the five daily tasks, then you wanna move on to the second component, which is your weekly task. For these tasks, I set a second 15 minute timer, usually about the time my kids get home from school when like, I make dinner and then just do this for 15 minutes. If I don't finish these tasks in the allotted times, I just don't worry about it and I'll explain why in a few minutes. The Clean Mama weekly schedule goes as follows. On Mondays, clean the bathrooms from top to bottom, a thorough cleaning of everything except for mopping the floors. Tuesdays is dusting days. Simply take a microfiber duster and quickly duster all areas of your house. Wednesdays are for vacuuming. On this day, all floors, including carpet, hardwood floors, and the steps get vacuumed. Because the floors get vacuumed on Wednesdays, Thursdays, the hardwood floors get mopped. Fridays is a catch-up day, so anything that you not, did not get completed in your 15-minute timer earlier in the week, Friday is the day to do it. If your house is bigger than, const, than you, and you constantly find yourself with a lot to catch up on, you may want to adjust your timer to 20 minutes. I will say that once you've done this for a few times, 15 minutes is a plenty amount of time, but in the first couple weeks, you might find that you need 20 minutes to do these daily tasks. Clean Mama also suggests on Fridays going grocery shopping and meal prepping for the weekend. Saturdays task is changing and washing and putting away the sheets. And then Clean Mama reserves Sunday for family. So the only tasks expected to be done on Sundays are the five daily tasks. Component four of the Clean Mama task are the rotating task. Clean Mama does not recommend starting the rotating task until you have mastered the daily task and the weekly task. The rotating tasks are meant to be done at the same time as your weekly task. In this component, the tasks change monthly and some tasks you do every month, some tasks you do quarterly, some ta and some tasks you do like twice a year. I have a link to Clean Mama's rotating task schedule down in the description box, and while you're there, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Some of these tasks include cleaning the light fixtures, dusting the baseboards, or changing out filters. The fourth and final component is the monthly task. Again, this task is meant to be completed once you have mastered the daily task, the weekly task, and then the monthly rotating task. Clean Mama wants us to take things at our own pace and not stress over having a clean house. Again, I've linked the monthly focus planner down in the description box from her website, but it's $58. So I've also linked a walkthrough video. It's like a YouTube video of some random person doing a walkthrough of the planner. And then that's linked down below so you can see the planner before you invest the 58 bucks. Basically, she gives you a year long schedule of areas of your home to organize and declutter so you can organize your home at your own pace in small 
chunks of time. These are easily missed areas like your garage or like cleaning that needs to be done or decluttering that needs to be done underneath your kitchen cabinet. So then by the end of the year, you should have an organized and clutter-free home. And that's it. I've been doing this program for a couple weeks now and I really feel like it has helped. If you found this video helpful, please comment down below and let me know. It really helps out my channel. And if you're new, please hit that red subscribe button. The channel is all about helping moms with the little things from opening your stroller to assembling your kids new toys to making lunches and cleaning routines. So if that's something you enjoy, I hope to see you guys in the next one and I'll see you guys. Bye! <laughs>